Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it assesses you to manage multi companies with over 15 databases for the user. A user can switch to multiple companies at once with the over 15 platform and create or edit the multiple company process. All the business operation grow easily by managing the multi companies in a system. Now we can see how to manage the multi companies with over 15. We can access the company details from the settings dashboard of Odoo 15. And we can select the companies menu in the user and companies tab. So all the created companies are visible here. And here the campaign view of this company's window shows the details such as company's name, phone number and the email ID. So here the create icon ensures the development of a new company. So we can enter the company name here. Let it a demo company. Then here we can add the contact details like address, tax ID, company registry. So the currency will change according to the state we have chosen. So it is possible to choose the state from here or it is possible to create a new state. So here we can see that the currency has changed. Then here we can add the phone number, mobile number, email ID, then we can add the website link here. And it is easy to mention the parent company. So it is possible to create a new parent company or select it from the existing one. Then we can uh, choose the company favicon here, then we can add the social media links, then we can add the VAT unit details, etc. So once a company is created, it is viewable in the upper bar of this company tab. So all the allowed companies in your Odoo system are available here. So you can choose the company you want to be for running the operations in Odoo. So the user can select more than one company from here. And these multi companies are active at all the time in Odoo 50. So all the companies inside my company tab are the allowed companies. The other one that you ticked in checkbox are your active companies. And you can mainly modify, read or delete the existing record. Once that is grayed out is your current company. And in some cases it is propagated from one record to another. So here uh, your company is selected thoroughly in this dashboard. And it is easy to manage the multiple companies with Odoo 15. So when creating a new user, we can select the users menu in the users companies and click on this create icon. Here in this new window, we can add the user's name and the email ID. So after saving the user details, a multi-company section is visible inside this access right tab. So here we can add the needed companies for users from here. So from here we can add the demo company. Okay, can I also add the your company also here and save this. Okay, so now let's create a product for each company. For that, we can go to the sales module. Before that, you have to change the company as demo company. Okay, then choose the product menu here and click on this create icon. So here we can add the product name as a product. Then we can choose the product type as storable product. Then we can choose the invoicing policy, unit of measure, sales price, customer taxes, etc. So here we can see a company field. From here, we can choose the company that we have created. So we can see that uh, the demo company here and click on save. Likewise, we can also create a new product. Let it be the product. So here we have uh, not we are not entering any company. That means we are not mentioning any company here and save this. Now let's switch as your company.
okay now we can search this product that we have created so we can uh, see that the a product is not seen here and let's search for the b product so here we can see uh, the b product in this products window because we haven't mentioned the company here so here we can see the a product by choosing the demo company here now we can aggregate the figures from various companies when the accountant check out the financial report. So we can go to the accounting module of O215 and choose the general ledger in the reporting tab. So all the general transaction from the specific company uh, we are selected is visible here. And if you want to aggregate the journals from two companies, you can tick the boxes of companies you need from the company section. So here we, I have selected the uh, your company and the demo company. After selecting the companies, these two companies' data are activated in the general ledger. So you can apply the filters by clicking on the journal option. And inside it, the records of both companies are visible. Then we can quickly analyze the sales report of all the companies with the help of Odoo 15 sales module. So we can go back to the Odoo sales module and select the sales menu in the reporting tab. So the user can see the figures and statistics in a graphical representation from the two companies. And the sales analysis is shown based on these two companies. So if you unchecked any one of these companies, your active company sales data will display. Here we can see the changes. So the user can manage the multi companies with Odoo 15 for the business purposes and it is easy to analyze the sales, financial report and product configuration using the multi companies management with Odoo 15. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.